pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Luka Doncic from Ljubljana, Slovenia. And Real Madrid, the Atlanta Hawks trade the draft rights to Luka Doncic, the third pick to the Dallas Mavericks for the draft rights to Trey Young, the fifth pick, and a future first round pick. What do you think for, for this one, Wonder Boy? Wonder Boy. <laughs> he gonna Over be, there. He gonna be the best player in Europe in a couple of years. Trust me in on that. Europe? In Europe. Or maybe in, in, the, in the NBA. Luca. In, in NBA too. He's a bo born winner, so. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You know, he already have a lot of uh, trophy medals and I'm happy for him. And he goes, my, my, mark my words, he's gonna, he gonna be one of the best in the he, whole world. He, Uh, I kept it trillin' from the very start See so many people cross me, don't know where to start uh, Scott, heard my dog talk behind my back and I'm like, let him talk I won't say his name, but he gon' feel his shit in every box Tears fallin' like the water when the levees drop Boys in the hood, these niggas try, they screamin', let me out Tryna please these niggas, shit gon' probably wear me out Ooh, huh. Should I rather work and walk before I ride luxury with niggas that don't fuck with me? I'm starting to hate this fame shit, look what it is Alright, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and today we're gonna be doing a Dallas Mavericks rebuild. So yeah, if you guys missed my last one where I did rebuild the Cleveland Cavaliers with, with their new draft pick Colin Sexton, make sure you go ahead and check out that video. I uploaded it yesterday and a link to it will be in the top right hand corner as well as in the description below. Now, today is Monday y'all and I do kinda wanna do a double upload. I'm not really sure, but if I do, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitter and turn on your notifications to know when I actually post. Of course, today, like I said before, we are doing the Dallas Mavericks. And of course, in the draft, they picked up Luka Doncic with the third overall pick from a trade with the Atlanta Hawks. They also picked up Jalen Brunson with, with the second round pick. And they got Giannis's brother, Kostas Antetokounmpo, with the last pick of the NBA draft, y'all. But yo, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys do, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button, and let's get 200 plus likes for another rebuild. Let me know who we should rebuild next in the comment section below. Also, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to join the family, as well as share the videos as well. That'd be very, very much appreciated, you guys. But like I was saying before, man, we got the Dallas Mavericks. Now, this is going to be a realistic rebuild. I'm only going to be targeting players that I think that Dallas has a real chance of actually getting. And yeah, I think that Dallas is actually in a really, really good position. Now, one thing that I do got to address, y'all, what is up with Dallas's rookies picking up, picking these weird numbers? Now, I get Luka, his number wasn't available because of Dwight Powell. This man went 77. And then Colossus went with number 90. Dog, what? I'm not really sure about that, y'all. But anyways, let me know how you guys feel about this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, what I can improve on for my next rebuild and all that good stuff. But yo, other than that, let's get straight into this thing, man. I'm, I'm trying to see if we can go ahead and win a championship. I think that we are definitely more than capable. Now, just to be honest, I do think that Dallas this summer does have the potential of going after a big name free agent. And the person that I am talking about is, I am talking about DeMarcus Cousins. I think that Dallas actually has a very realistic chance of getting DeMarcus Cousins. They have, they have a bunch of cap room. This team does not look all that bad. I mean, next year's lineup is going to be Dennis Smith Jr. It's going to be Luka, Harrison Barnes, and Dirk. Unless Dirk retired in the game. I don't really know. But we're going to have all of those guys, as well as DeMarcus Cousins. Like, let's just say that Dirk retires, which for some reason he's not in the game. I think that they actually have a pretty good chance of pulling in DeMarcus Cousins. So I am going to try to go ahead and offer him. But before I do that, I do want to kind of make a trade. All right, so I will be making the trade to clear up some cap room, and I'll be sending J.J. Barea over to the San Antonio Spurs. They could definitely use him. I like him, but I think we're going to have a lot of point guards in the first place. We don't need to hold on to one. I do want to shoot my shot, my shot at getting DeMarcus Cousins. Let's try and, and offer him as much as possible. Of course, if Dallas was to do this, they would just do whatever he wanted. Don't look like we're getting him. Um, but, the, the, but the good part about having cap room... They can offer a lot of players. All right, so after missing out on DeMarcus Cousins, 
I'm trying to get Julius Randle here, but we need three million more, and I could just give up to Steph Curry and make that happen. But All right, let's see if I can make a different trade because Seth Curry could actually he could actually be pretty useful to us in the future. But hey, man, I, I guess it don't really matter, huh? All right, and Seth, Seth Curry was actually like decent. Yeah, he's actually pretty decent. I don't really want Wes Matthews, but I know nobody takes that contract right. I know that nobody takes that contract right now. And there's nobody else to like really move here. So Julius Randle, I feel like Julius Randle definitely has a chance of getting picked up here. Or instead of him. All right, I can just give up Yogi Ferrell, which I'm definitely down with. All right, so we're going to be doing this move, you guys. Picking up Julius Randle. And hopefully it works out for us. But I do want to keep these guys here, though. That's what I do want to do. All right, so who do I have bird rights on? All right, so it looks like we're about to lose Nerlens to the Knicks. Honestly, I don't really care. Um, so, all right, so, whoa, hold on. Why is Paul George, he, he why did Paul George just, just pop up here? I don't think that we have a chance of getting him, though, so I'm just not, I'm not going to do that. That would just make it too easy. All right, instead of him, let me find a backup point guard or a backup shooting guard. All right, I can still pick up you. That's going to be awesome. And are, are there any, like, young pieces here that I can pick up? Young pieces that actually are, like, good. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to find. Oh, snap. All right. Nerlens is still here. And we are able to pick up Nerlens Noel. Yo, shouts out to 2K for, the, for that glitch. Or he just got played by, by the Knicks. Regardless, we are happy to have that man back. And Paul George, we can't get you. But I do like the way that this team is looking. I know that they probably don't want to bring back Nerlens, but... At the end of the day, he is better than nothing, and I do plan on moving him in the future if possible. But next year's lineup is looking like it's going to be Dennis and the Jr., Luca, Harrison Barnes, Julius Randle, and Nolan Noel, and that is definitely progress. Definitely progress. So other than that, um, our bench pieces, Brunson's backing up. Um, Wes Matthews is me backing up there for a season. Back up small forward is kind of iffy. I am going to put Colossus into the G League. Dwight Powell is I, right. and I guess we can find a backup center and then pretty much call it a day. Our pick is top five protected with the Atlanta Hawks. We just gotta make sure that we aren't that we aren't that bad, but we're still bad. Like I, I'm still I'm still trying to be bad. Like like I am still trying to be bad, but I don't want to be like top three pick kind of bad because I still want that pick back. All right, so is there anybody else here that we could possibly get? Like Joffrey Laverne is better than anybody else. All right, so heading into training camp, I am going to send Luca to athleticism camp uh, because that, that is honestly one of his only flaws. Um, next up, perimeter shooting for Dennis Smith Jr. Here we go. All right, and uh, next season, I do want to make sure to get a brand new trainer. And Rick Carlisle, you are great, but I'm, I ain't trying to keep losing, dog. But yeah, our lineup for this season is going to be Dennis Smith Jr., Luca, Harrison Barnes, J uh, Julius Randle, and Nerlens. Now, the bench, we got Laverne, Powell. Yeah, the bench is pretty trash. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. The bench is really trash. All right, Coase is, is going to be in the G League. Um, Brunson, I kind of want to push you there too, but I know that they I know that they probably won't. They're, they're probably going to want you to play, which I completely understand. Let's see what this team is capable of. Hopefully, we hopefully we still have a top 10 pick, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be a bottom three team because then it because then it just means that the Hawks are getting our draft pick. So let's see what this team is capable of, and I'll see you guys at the end of this first season and uh, let's just see how this team does and at the end of this season Giannis wins the MVP DeAndre Aiden's rookie of the year on Phoenix all that is cool pop much against coach of the year and I'm sure that we had nobody on, on any of the all NBA teams Luca does make all rookie first team he's now an 80 overall we can check out his numbers later on he thinks that he he, he thinks that he should have been rookie of the year though um and uh yeah that's all that we got we Oh, uh, I forgot about Monley. Oh, well. No, it, it don't really matter. Regardless, we finished as the 12th seed. Um, let's see. Wait, I'm trying to see. What, what are them lotto odds? Okay, so we're definitely out of the top five. Looks like we're going to be finishing up with the 10th overall pick, which is perfect. It's perfect. As long as it's not top five, maybe we, maybe we can get like a steal somewhere around there. Like, that's what I'm hoping for. All right, stats-wise, Luka led us in scoring with 19 and a half points a game, six and a half assists, one and a half steals. Barnes was 17 and six. Uh, Dennis Smith was 16 and seven assists as well. Okay, so this team was actually pretty good. And Randall with 13, nine. Brunson with eight off the bench and three assists. I like it. I really like it. All stars. I know that we had none. 
but I had to go ahead and check. Yup, that sounds about right to me. Um, let's get into this offseason, man, because maybe we can actually make a free agent signing this offseason. I'm, I'm not really sure yet, but hopefully. Hopefully we, hopefully we can make something happen. And San Antonio wins the championship. Unfortunately, Kawhi is not probably, he's not going to be there for it. All right, y'all. So it looks like we walked away with the ninth overall pick, which is great for us. And we have two second round picks as well. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So as far as coaches, I do want to get a brand new coach. Um, I Yeah, let, let's pick up Dirk as the assistant coach, though. That's actually pretty low. I know this ain't, I know that this ain't realistic. I, I just want to do it because it's the Mavericks. All right. Well, back to our head coach. Who do I really want? I guess we can go after Logan Schmidt. I mean, Rick Carlisle, he's nothing crazy, but I know that in, I know that in 2K, he ain't winning. Like, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. And trainers, let's get Jimmy Lynch. Now, I think after that, we're good. All right, we get we get Lynch. Come on. I need you guys to hurry up and, and accept. Thank you. Great for us. And let's hop into the NBA draft. We're supposed to be getting this small forward. I don't want a small forward. I need a center. Anybody works. Let's hop into the draft and maybe we can even trade up in it. I'm not really sure yet. It, ju it, ju it just depends on who's there at the pick that we actually have. All right, so we are at pick number nine and who is on the board? This small forward they so desperately want us to pick up. And I really want a center though, but th th this guy, he's not good enough for me to be drafting him that high. All right, um, who's gone before? Nasri just went like two picks ago. All right, I still want to look at those options. All right, so you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this small forward. Even though I don't think that we need him, he's better than, like, nothing. <laughs> like, that's the thing. He's better than nothing. And, he, yeah, he had a better overall than both of those guys. So, we could use him. It says that he has the potential to be an all-star, which is great for us. So, let's go ahead and let's pick that man up. Why not? Just in case we don't want to, just in case we don't want to pay Harrison Barnes. Like, we have a bunch of options here. Like, we, we can honestly do a lot of different things. But second round picks, let's see. We didn't scout anybody around here. Um, Emmanuel quickly, I, since I, I've heard of him, I might want to go and pick him up. All right, so after the draft, rookie signings, Um, uh, I'll sign you. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and let's just do that. All right, so team player options. Here, of course, I'm keeping you. Harrison Barnes, I might move, and Giannis' brother is now at a 71, which is awesome for us. All right, so yeah, let's just hold on to all of you guys. I'm cool there. Qualifying offers, nah. Um, all right, do we got any money? We, we probably don't. Yeah, we are mad broke. Hassan Whiteside would be nice, but the way that he performed last season, but honestly, I, I might as well pick him up, just, just to be honest. I might as well at least try to pick him up. Let me try to move Nerlens though, because I do want to go after... Hassan Whiteside. He's he's better than anything else that like we could possibly get. This ain't that bad. They might make me include in like 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 two second round picks, but I'm down to do it. There we go. Enjoy him, Brooklyn. All right, so we have no more offers. Um, Whiteside has zero, so that is perfect for us. And you guys can do whatever you guys want to do. Don't really care. Yeah, this worked out perfectly for me. All right, let's sign Dwight Powell. So I'm I'm down to do that. Let's re let's renounce you. Yeah, let's renounce all of y'all, just be honest. There we go. All right, some other centers to possibly look at. Um, Dang, because Whiteside already has one offer. So this is not good for us. Yeah, and he's gone. So, oh yeah, we're in a horrible situation. But, I mean, I can't cheat the game. All right, so we, we missed out on all of them. But now we do have cap. Um... Dog, I might as well get Dwight Howard for like one year. It's better than nothing. This, this is already not going the way that I, I wanted it to. But Dwight for like one year, that's actually like not like a bad deal. I'll take him for like one year. My nigga, come on, dog. Or Vucevic. You already know that he lost his job to Mohamed Bamba. Let's see if he takes this. He, he probably won't, but I'm definitely going to try. All right, Brooklyn, I get that you guys want bad contracts, but just give me that. Jeez. All right, I do want to get Nikola Vucevic, though. That, that This is somebody that we can definitely pick up. 
Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want that player option though. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really don't. He's just the best thing that we could possibly do. And Dwight Howard on a one-year deal, I'm cool with as well. All right, maybe we get Dwight. This man still wants to go back to the Magic 2K. What are you doing? All right, but those are our best options. Anything else, I'm just not that sure about. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's the best that we. I think that that's the best that we could possibly do. All right, we, we can sign Dwight because he went back to the Magic. Dwight's only here for like one season, so I don't think that that's even that bad. He's better than like Nerlens, so maybe we can work out some, something there in the future. And other than that, I don't know what we could possibly do other than that. I mean, you're actually a pretty nice backup. If we if we can pick you up as well, I'd be happy. All right, so heading into training camp, let's see, man. All right, Luca, you're an 81. Your three is actually pretty good. Your playmaking is at an A minus. Yeah, let's just get that shooting up then. All right. Um. Okay. That man is at an 85. Let's get it. And untap potential for what's your potential looking like? To B plus. I do want to hit up. I do, I do want to use it on Randall though. You'll be just all right. Okay. Okay. So looking at this team, what do we got for this season? All right. So for this season, our lineup is gonna be it's the same. Smith, Luca, Barnes, Randall, and Howard. And off the bench, we got our new rookie, Allen Williams, Joffrey Laverne, all that good stuff. Like I said before, I do want to make sure that like, that Brunson actually gets minutes. I think he has to at this point. We're still going to be a bad team no matter what. At least we have our draft picks, which is the biggest thing. But this year, we are moved up to being ranked 12th. So by the end of this... We should be good. We actually should be good to actually go. We have one more season. And I do got to say, the one position of need that we really must find is center. That's the only position that, that this team is lacking at. And at the end of this season, Giannis goes back-to-back -back as the MVP. Zion's Rookie of the Year. All right, did we get anything? We made the playoffs, though. I know that for sure. All right, so nobody there. No one on any of these teams. I'm not really shocked, though. All right, yeah, we have nobody on literally any of the all any of the all NBA teams, but we did finish as the fifth seed, you guys. With the record of forty-seven and thirty-five, we finished as the fifth seed. Yeah, we're still definitely a rebuilding team, but standings-wise, we, we finished eighteen games behind the Warriors, and we are one game out of being the third seed. Stats-wise, Luca at an eighty-four average, twenty points, seven point four assists, one and a half steals. Dennis Smith with eighteen points as well, eight assists. I like all of that, man. I like it. If we can just keep up this kind of play, we should be good. We should be really, really good. All-Stars, Luca, were you at least an All-Star or no? All right, we had no All-Stars on this team. All right, yeah. getting Mavs players as All-Stars in 2K is like nearly impossible. But up against the Kings, all right, we're down 2-0. All right, come on. Let's come back. 2-2. Two, 3-2 -two. Two, us. Okay, game seven. We need to at least win this game seven. I think that we have a better team than the Kings do. Come on, y'all. This is a close game. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, they got Paul George. Really? Oh, my. Dude, 2K can never sim anything correctly. Wow. All right. I mean, it's honestly whatever. In the end, the Raptors won the championship. We already know that. that we already know that that's not happening. But let, let's get back for one more season of this rebuild. All right. I, all we need is a center. That's the one position that we are just lacking in every single season. All right, so rookie signings, uh, I'll, I'll sign Jalen Smith. The rest of you guys, let's bring all of you guys back. There we go. Qualifying offers. We might as well restrict y'all, so let's go ahead and let's do it. All right, free agency, do we got any money at all? Let's go. We need a center. Not for that long, but... Marcus Saul, we would love to have you. We can off we can offer two max players. We can offer two max players. Come on, man. Yes. All right. So we got a chance of getting him. We we could also possibly get Draymond Green. So let's just go ahead and let's just do it, man. We already have somebody who's low key already replacing him, so it's not even like a big deal. We pick up Mark Gasol, and I can still pick up Harrison Barnes, but I'm gonna offer him a two year contract. And let's see if he takes it. I think he should take it, to be honest. Where's only offer? And if we can't get him back, um, Jalen Brunson, I do want to pick him up if he's still here. Hopefully, we didn't lose him. All right, there we go. So, we get all of those guys back. We get Jalen Brunson and Harrison Barnes back. Let's get it. 
Now, is there anybody else that I want to sign here? Giannis's brother is restricted, so I don't I don't gotta worry about him. Um, so we are good at every single position. We were good at point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Center, uh, we got a lot of depth at center. Dwight Howard, we got Gasol. I like the way that this team is coming together. We should be able to contend for a championship this season. Um, I do gotta say, uh, point guard. All right, let's get a backup shooting guard. That's honestly our weakest position is backup shooting guard. All right, so heading into training camp, um, Lucas now at an 86. He's good at everything. Let's just keep him. Let's just completely. Let's keep working on his jump shot. Dennis Smith Jr., same thing with you. Keep working on that jumper. And Julius Randall, I could say that as well. Like, your jump shot is like mad broke. So let's work on that as well. What's your overall? All right, you're, you're still good. Yeah, there we go. I, I like I like this team. We, we, got, we do got to cut a player. Who's the lowest overall here? Quickly, I do want to hold on to Quickly. Um, I don't really need PJ Dozer, whatever his name is. I don't really need him. We are three deep at every single spot. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut you, dog. Uh, all right, so we are good for this season, y'all. Um, it says that we are buying. I think that we're a little we're doing a little bit more than that. But our lineup for this season is Dennis Smith. It's the same as last year. Off the bench, we got. I might want to start him to be real. Yeah, I might want to start him to be honest. What is Harrison Mars better at? Is he better at defense? He's not even better at defense. He's shorter. He's not as good of a shooter. Is he at least more athletic? He's not more athletic. B minus re rebounding. Dude, why? Okay. Harrison Barnes, six man, six man. It's like Lou Will. All right. That, that's what we're going to make happen there. I like Jonathan Simmons coming off the bench. Giannis' brother is getting ticked now. Rashawn Holmes. I'm going to be playing Dwight Howard a little bit more. And I, I need I need a backup point guard in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and rock with that. Okay. And he and he's a backup power forward. I, I really like this. I really like this. All right, I'm going to give these minutes to Luca. So you. And I really want to see what this team can actually do this season, y'all. What do they have us ranked? The sixth best team. I think this is the year that this team wins an NBA championship. I really do. There we go. Let's go. Finally. I, I did not think that this would be possible. And at the end of this final season, Steph Curry is the MVP. All right, uh, I don't care about any of this. Bomb was doing his thing. Um, we don't have any coach of the year. We lost one more game than them. Uh, all right, so let's see, man. Did we get any maps on any of these teams? And we do not, but I'm not surprised. Yeah, no one anywhere. All right, but we did finish as the third seed in the Western Conference. We are contending now. All right, uh, we finished one game behind, behind the Timberwolves and the Kings. So we could have been the first seed easily. Stats-wise, Luke with 18 points. Everybody was just doing their exact job, which I think at this season, we got a championship on our hands. That's what I'm thinking. All right, All-Stars. We haven't had one All-Star this entire video, but Luca, look, man, this is too caseful. I didn't make these rosters, so I ain't know. All right, so let's see, man. Round one, we're, we're taking on the Phoenix Suns, who are the... So, round one, we're, we're taking on the Rockets, six seed. We up 2-0. Come on. Let's end this quickly, please. And we advance. And we're taking on the Timberwolves. Okay, we were low-key better than y'all. But, I mean, you guys got that seed. We're up 3-1. Let's get it. And it looks like we're, we're taking on the Kings, huh? The Kings got Fox, Heald, Paul George. Okay, this is actually a pretty nice squad from, well, they have, they have some pretty good starters. They take game one. They say game. Okay, let's hop into Simcast. Let Let's hop into Simcast, cause I never get played like that. Whenever I, Whenever I'm in Simcast, let's get back in a Simcast. Come on, y'all. Let, let's win this championship. Let's win this championship, y'all. Close game. We got it. There we go. It's tied up two two. Okay, I should I should have stuck in my Simcast, dog. Watch me win every single game that I do in Simcast. We force a game seven. They are wildin'. Come on. Hold on to, to the lead. And we win by three points. I won every single game I did using Simcast. We take game one. All right, this is just the Wizards. We're up 3-1. 
and the Dallas Mavericks are champions. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, Dennis Smith Jr. won finals MVP. He's 23, and they, and they won a championship. He averaged 20 points, 6.4 assists, and, and shooting 50% from the field and 50% from the three. This team was great, man. It took a lot of work. But in the end, we were able to win a championship. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and leave a like on it. Let me know who we should be rebuilding next. But anyways, you But anyways, you guys, our final roster was Dennis Smith Jr., Luka Doncic, who they just drafted, uh, Julius Randle, Marcus Saul, Harrison Barnes, Siku Domboya, Jonathan Simmons, Dwight Howard, Rashawn Holmes, Jalen Smith, Emmanuel Quickly, Jalen Brunson, Alex Abrines. Colossus Antetokounmpo and Ersan Ilyasova. This team won a championship, you guys. If you guys are Dallas Mavericks fans or enjoy or enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Share the videos and yo, who should we rebuild next? And while you guys are at it, make sure to go ahead and turn on your notifications and follow me on Twitter. But enough of that sub promo. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace, y'all.